Welcome to the Motorola Cellular Video Guide. Your Motorola phone puts a new level of sophistication, size, and convenience right in the palm of your hand. For most of us, learning to do even the simplest task is made easier if we see it demonstrated first. So, throughout this program, we'll show you just how easy your phone is to use. And in the process, we'll demonstrate how Motorola's smart button and volume keys can provide quick access to a variety of features, giving you even more control and convenience during daily phone use. If your phone doesn't look exactly like our demonstration model, don't worry, the difference is only cosmetic. Steps for operation are virtually the same. Now, let's get ready to use your phone. Your phone's battery is discharged when you receive it. So, put it through a complete charge cycle using the desktop charger or your phone's internal charging system using the AC adapter. When the green light appears or the battery icon stops flashing, your phone is ready for use. To turn your phone on or off, press power. As the phone powers up, it performs a rapid system check to ensure everything is working properly. If your phone is locked, this is the first message you'll see. Your phone is pre-programmed at the factory to unlock by pressing 1, 2, 3. If your salesperson changed the code to a number of your choice, enter it instead. If you make a mistake, press clear and start again. When your phone is ready for use, the on message will appear, along with the battery indicator to give you a quick visual reference of the current charge level. If the display disappears, it simply means your phone has switched to power standby to preserve battery strength whenever it's not in use. But even in standby, the signal strength meter stays on, so you'll know at a glance if you're in a strong or weak reception area. Pressing any key, including volume, will relight the display. Of course, if you receive a call, the display relights automatically. Just press send to answer. Before placing or receiving a call, power must be on. The phone unlocked and the no service indicator off. If no service appears, you're either outside the cellular coverage area or inside a structure blocking the signal. Just remember, no service must be off to use your phone. If roam appears, it means you're outside your home coverage area and your call will be carried by another cellular service provider. This is normal when you travel. But if roam stays on, even in your home service area, see your user's manual to reset your phone's system selection. The send key is unique to cellular. For example, you'll use it to place a call. And if the phone is open, to answer incoming calls too. You can also place a call with the smart button, eliminating the need to press send for convenient one hand operation. If you hear this when placing a call, it simply means the system is full and can't handle your call immediately. Pressing send or the smart button will automatically redial the number for up to four minutes. If redial is successful, a ring alert will sound once. Just listen for your party to answer. You don't need to press send again. By the way, auto redial only works when the cellular system is full. So if you hear a normal line busy signal, press end and try again later. Your phone always remembers the last number called, so you can redial it quickly by pressing recall, send. In fact, you can recall any of the last 10 numbers previously called by simply pressing recall, zero, zero, and the volume keys to scroll through the memory. 
When the number you want to call appears, just press and hold the smart button for a moment. Your call will be dialed automatically. Once your call is in progress, in use will appear. You can use the smart button to terminate the connection when your call is finished. Just press the smart button once. When you hear this tone, press again to end the call. You can also terminate the connection by pressing end or just closing the phone. Programming frequently called phone numbers into memory opens up a variety of convenient dialing options. To program memory, enter the number you want to save and press store. Then select a two-digit memory location. If you want to identify your entry by name, type it in using the alphanumeric keypad. After each letter is selected, press pound to scroll to the next position. If you make a mistake, use the scroll keys to make corrections. When the name is complete, press store to save it in memory. A variety of options are available for convenient recall of numbers stored in your phone's memory. For example, to locate a stored name and number, press the Smart button to open the phone's alpha directory. Then use the volume keys to scroll through the entries. And when the name you want to call appears, just press and hold the Smart button for a moment. Your call will be dialed automatically. If you know the memory location of the person you want to call, Super Speed Dial is a quick shortcut. Just enter the location number and press send. Numbers stored in the first nine memory locations can be dialed even faster using one button turbo dial. To place a turbo dial call, just press and hold the memory location key for a second. You don't need to press send. It's important to know that turbo dial reserves the first position, key number one, for you to program an emergency number of your choice. because you can dial it with one button speed and convenience, even if the phone is locked. Just remember, emergency services and access numbers across the country and around the world can vary, so your local number may not work everywhere. The feature menu lets you customize phone settings to suit your personal preference or performance needs. To make feature selection easier than ever, Motorola designed a simple key system to give you access to every feature option. Once you understand the logic these keys provide, you'll be able to select and change any feature with ease and confidence. For example, to select one of nine different ring alert tones for incoming calls, open the main menu by pressing Function and the Smart button. Now scroll through the menu using the volume buttons until Tone Control appears and press the Smart button. Using the volume keys, scroll through the sub-menu until Ringer Style appears. Pressing the Smart button will sound the ringer tone currently in use. Pressing either volume key lets you scroll through the different ringer styles. When you hear the one you like, just press the Smart button to select it. To exit the feature menu and return to normal phone operation, just press End. From now on, whenever you receive a call, you'll be able to easily distinguish the sound of your phone from everyone else's. By the way, whenever an audible ring alert is inappropriate, you can switch to a silent vibra-call alert by pressing Function 8. And when you're ready to switch back again, Function 8 restores normal ring alert instantly. Adjusting volume levels can add to your comfort and convenience. To raise or lower the volume you hear in the earpiece, 
press the corresponding volume button until you hear the level you want. The volume meter will let you see, as well as hear, the highest and lowest settings available. You can also adjust the phone's ringer to receive incoming calls. With the phone open, just press function and hold the corresponding volume button as before. Knowing when to charge your battery is important too, so the battery indicator gives you a quick reference check of charge levels at all times. As the charge level becomes too low, you'll see this message on the display, and you'll hear this warning. Your phone is designed to be compact and easy to carry. So to enhance operation, even in the closed position, a status indicator light will tell you everything you need to know. For example, a flashing green light means your phone is on and ready to receive a call. A flashing yellow light lets you know you're roaming and your call will be carried by a cellular service provider other than your home provider. If the indicator flashes red, you're in a no service area where you cannot place or receive a call. And if the light alternates between green and red, you'll know an incoming call is ready to be answered. While we've shown you the basics of daily phone use, there are a variety of features which haven't been demonstrated here. Please read your owner's manual carefully to make sure you get the most out of your new cellular phone. Motorola accessories are designed for enhanced cellular performance. Because you never know just when you'll need it, a spare battery is a sensible addition to your cellular phone. Motorola lithium-ion and nickel-metal hydride batteries combine lightweight and compact size with superb talk time performance. The auxiliary battery is an excellent solution to extended phone performance. Once it's clipped into place, talk time may be increased by up to two hours. And because your phone automatically draws power from the auxiliary battery first, your main battery stays charged and ready for later use. For frequent phone use on the road, the cigarette lighter adapter supplies power from your car's battery, while simultaneously charging your phone's battery. The hands-free adapter enhances mobile performance. The in-vehicle holder and two-way speaker allows you to keep your hands on the wheel while you talk on the phone. The optional headset with built-in microphone and speaker gives you the freedom of hands-free operation wherever you are. Total communication means you must be able to send and receive computerized information. With Motorola cellular data accessories, your phone is data ready to help you stay in touch with technology even if you're away from the office. To learn more about Motorola performance matched accessories, please see your local cellular sales representative. If you need further assistance, please call the Motorola Cellular Information Center.